Hello, GSL fans. I'm Wolf, the host of your new show called You Bet. I'm sure many of you are curious about what kind of show this is going to be. Basically, through You Bet, we're going to have a fun time making predictions of the upcoming matches. I assure you that from now on, you'll be able to find out the winners beforehand through this show. Currently, the round of 32 of the 2014 Hot 6 GSL Season 1 Codes is in progress. This week, the final two groups of the round of 32, which are groups G and H, will be playing. Today, let's predict the results for Group G first. Let's take a deeper look into each of these players and talk about who has the better chance to win. For the first match of Group G, the defending champion Deer will play against Dark, who he actually selected himself. I bet when you guys heard about this matchup, most of you thought this is going to be a pretty easy win for Deer. It's a pretty obvious choice. Deer was a GSL champion last year, and he's viewed as one of the strongest Pro players in the world right now. However, his opponent Dark is a rookie, and he's playing his very first Codas season. Furthermore, the total matches that he's played throughout his career is only 7. He's played 15 sets total in his career, and not many of those sets were actually against Protoss. Of course, Deer does not have a massive match record total himself, with a 74% win ratio and 78 against Zerg, with his championship experience. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that unless Deer makes some pretty big mistakes, Deer's going to take this match, no, no doubt about it. He's just on a completely different level. <laughs> The second match of Group G is Youngwa vs Life. Both these players are not performing at their top shape coming into this season. If you look at Youngwa, he went through the preliminaries to advance to Kode, barely managed to secure a spot in Kodas, but was knocked out in the round of 32, where he went back to the Challenger League, where he had a difficult time advancing to the up and down matches, where there, then he had to grind out wins just to get back into Kodas, and then he got knocked out again in the round of 32. However, this year in Kode, he defeated Flash and Lenox to advance to Kodas in first place from his group. If you look at life, you don't really need to say much. Not long ago, most people were saying that he was so powerful that even uh, he was a fourth race compared to you know the Terrans, the Prosses, and Zergs. It was like he was just on a completely different level. But that era kind of ended in Wings of Liberty. Uh, as Heart of the Swarm was released, his dominance started to decrease a little bit. So what about 2014? This season, many people think that these two players are going to be pretty close in this group, and I completely agree. But I'm a little bit worried that Youngwa might not actually make it. He might be knocked out from the round of 32 again, um, continuing that same pattern that we saw last year. Even if he gets uh, to the round, of, or if he gets through the round of 32, I think he's going to have a really tough time against Life. Life is saying that he's really confident against Protoss right now, and uh, no matter who wins, I don't think this is going to be a 2-0. But if I had to predict this one, I would definitely give Life uh, a 2-1 victory here. Really hard to call, but Life is going to take a 2-1. I feel. So we've taken a look at Group G for the round of 32, and we've made some predictions. Which two players are going to advance to the round of 16? You know, that's what everybody wants to find out. How accurate our prediction is going to be. I'm really looking forward to find out. But I have to say goodbye for now. Don't forget, though, I will be back on Thursday for the predictions for Group H. Thanks for watching.